In previous real side experiences, I have revealed not only the presence of universal universities, where constant is the sharing of real references and real is pertaining education, but also that the physical level Mexican ranch has its real side counterpart, though massively expanded and where it serves a similar function, and just like the universities, so is the option of taking up residence on the real side Mexican ranch. And indeed, is the Mexican real side ranch becoming an ever expanding position as though a reflection of the ever escalating in volume beings and body types that are deciding to become more aware and recognize the ears, the length and breadth of creation, and quite the extensive array of body forms are now in residency on the real side ranch. That just as it is with the universities, sincere must the individuals be with their intent with the ears, or access will be denied. For as a simulation and creational situation and positioning follows intent, really then the individuals have denied themselves, and the real guides operating as a constant security are simply the delivery mechanism for the effects the unaware with no interest in their real awareness or the ears have decided for themselves that of being removed should they even be able to enter the universities or the ranch in the first place. For each individual decides their experiences, others assume the positioners as made available by them, and as I said, the insincere individual has in reality denied themselves university or real side ranch access, this idea effect will then express as their inability to enter the universities or the ranch, or at least be unable to remain for long, an effect that the guides can step into as afforded by them and oust them from such real side positions. It can be so that intent can fluctuate even with those that have been progressing admirably with their processes of awareness, for it never ceases to amaze Duane how many individuals have come and gone, even some of the best seers, etc. And so it must be expected that as individuals have granted themselves access to the universities and the ranch on the real side, through their intent being sincere with all life, that at any moment they may decide to step back, their actions can become destructive, and as a simulation then reorders itself, through the now alternative intent, they will deny themselves the ability to maintain such positions on the real side, and the guides very likely will remove them, or let the situations play out and have far more by way of karmic effects they then can manage, where potentially phantom zone placement can be possible, an effect the individual had really decided for themselves, though a variation from what they would have experienced, absent of such an alternative, with the added bonus that the most notorious troublemakers are not only displaced, but removed to a position where they no longer can in any way impact any other being. And the guys will see how all struggle with getting through the arduous process of creation to recognising the reality of their real awareness of true being selves, and they afford every being every opportunity or chance, regardless of how 
as they flip-flop between the real awareness, real intent, and the personal self of consciousness, they may operate in a limiting of themselves and others' ways at certain moments. For I would find myself within my recreated physical level tent on the Mexican ranch. My place of sleep, as it is on the physical level ranch, but on the real side, as I have shared previously, my tent now serves as an unorthodox means of a real side, other dimensional transportation. It is so that through the real awareness that is part of the isness, everything, reality, so every creational position as affected from all consciousness that the real awareness permeates through, the created simulated forms animated by the real awareness can be inserted into full access to every creational position and dimension is accessible with no necessity to utilize any consciousness created and affected mechanisms of creational traversing the spacecraft the portals etc although we often times do use as such even unconventional means such as dimensional traversing tents, as the experiences with their over-exaggerated features and elements stick more so in the memory on awaking. Seems I was once again preparing to embark on another dimensional escapade within my tent, but as I was saying earlier, where established university or real side ranch placed individuals can fluctuate in their intent and inclinations, and so their continued presence at such positions will become limited. It was a so that one particular real side ranch positioned individual was now choosing to operate in a destructive ways. I would recognize the individual, a female, and as individuals do a progress with their awareness of processes, if they choose to step back or even momentarily, they still retain a greater real side capability than your average one dimensional personal self immersed human, and indeed can be very destructive consequently. The dark forces will in actuality be keen to secure their services, for with their abilities they can become great assets in regards to the dark forces continued controlling ambitions. For as the individual does even momentarily relinquish their real intent for his recognition, they will be subject to the influence to operate in awareness suppressing capacities and may not even be consciously aware of how their intent fluctuations are expressing multi-dimensionally as attacks on other new friends etc. The particular individual had in her presence a kind of male sidekick though one who had no interest in regards to the recognition of the ears, but she had rather a developed ability where the seduction of others and the bending of them to her will was a standard. And as those on their awareness of processes may still have as yet unreleased attachments with others, so they provide an open door for these others to always a feature in their experiences as they retain always the idea of them, and as such, even the sincere, real-side ranch operating individuals may be allowing the accessing of this position for others, but as I said, the guides will either let these individuals, who have entered through as though a backdoor agreement with established new friends, and aware beings remain and let the situations play out or instantly remove them accordingly. This female had an attachment 
with this unaware man, and so he could access the real side ranch with her, though as I said, she had, perhaps momentarily, elected to be influenced, and now to operate destructively. She had quite the developed ability and skill set through the awareness she had, and this extended to her being able to acquisition my dimensional traversing tent with me inside it and relocate it to a creational position I hadn't intended as my destination. For as my tent landed, my surroundings comprised of a very uninviting setting indeed, dark ominous mountains, a blackened sky filled with billowing dark clouds, my tent precariously placed on a portion of cracked land that either side of me the ground fell away and hundreds of feet below would be flowing streams of lava. My impressions were that the female, with her bewitched, unaware male minion, had chosen this particular creational position, which would be destructive of the tent and its occupant, myself, or so she thought, as though, perhaps, whatever this creational position was, it indeed would serve this function, as this was the idea agreement that was installed, as though, throughout all consciousness. And so, such destruction of one's self, on entering or being taken to this position, was assured, as the decided and agreed to effect prevalent throughout a consciousness, by whatever mechanism this had been implanted. But for those on a process of awareness, which includes a releasing of all ideas of the consciousness, so we become more indomitable as we operate in a creation and multi-dimensionally, as progressively less ideas we hold to that affect such circumstances, such as situations where we may be destroyed as we operate in a certain locations. The female assumed I would be destroyed as she was a cackling outside my tent, and for whatever reason she and her minion seemed safe from the destructive properties of the forbidding position we were in. Maybe they too had agreements released pertaining to this location, or maybe they were afforded protection by the dark forces they were now somewhat operating in the interests of. But soon came the dawning realisation for her, that of my destruction not being so, and I would emerge from my tent, and on the assumption also that the female would perhaps attack me further, as her other scheme had failed, I would alter my exterior form to that of a very large, bipedal, two-legged wolf, one of my fallback forms in situations of antagonistic entanglement. However, the female and her male cohort would exchange a look with each other and beat a hasty retreat. I would not pursue them, but simply would remove myself from this curious position of destruction for all who entered it generally. I would now be repositioned on what impressions revealed was a moon, and there would be stationed an alien base. I have mentioned on previous real side experiences that hinted was that I had a business at the Earth's moon, as though required was it for me to travel there, but what specific purpose wasn't disclosed at that moment. I shared a real side experience many months ago, how the disharmonious frequency of bombarding of the Earth function that the artificial construct that is the Earth's moon serves, that the moon had been taken over by a particular body form expression of the bipedal two-legged cats. For the various cat beings are stepping up overwhelmingly 
and assisting with the various galactic projects in all manner of ways, and including the nullifying of the harmful technologies as utilised by the dark forces that assist in sustaining the control they have over humanity. And in that previous experience, the cats had effectively removed all the dark force body types present on the moon and had taken possession of it, that it no longer serve in a controlling of all humans a function. Impressions suggested the moon I now was on in this recent real side experience was indeed the Earth's moon. For as I approached the base that was stationed upon it, my progress would be halted by a very tall and powerfully built two-legged cat male, who was in fact in the capacity of security. I would present him with a document that on examination so my access was granted. Four impressions revealed this base was one of many the cat people now had established on the Earth's moon, and evidently I was to engage with some of the cats within this particular base for whatever reason I had for doing so. Perhaps in regards to further developments galactic project wires, those that pertained to the Earth very likely. At that moment, although my simulated interjected body form proceeded inside, my view switched to an aside from the situation real awareness position, the real awareness still orchestrating my simulated form to carry out whatever purpose it was at the base for, but simultaneously I was afforded the view of two shady characters approaching the moon base I had entered. Impressions revealed they were Dark Force affiliated, the one taking the lead was a male, his skin was a scaled, very likely a reptilian, and the manner of his attire reminded me a little of a Star Trek Klingon. Accompanying him was a female, though one looking a human, and as they approached the base entrance, they were challenged by the same cat guard. The reptilian incapacitated the cat in some way or other, rendering him unconscious. He then proceeded to produce a series of tube-like devices that were attached to a mechanical box of some kind, and would insert each of them in turn into the cat's head. The female would advise against him using all of the tubes. She spoke of how the technology was a somewhat hazardous and that it might kill the cat. Evidently, eliminating the guard wasn't their intention, although where the female seemed concerned as to the cat's well-being, the reptilian couldn't care less, as he inserted all of the tubes into the cat's skull. They would fill with a kind of fluid, and it was this that the reptilian sought to attain, not only from the cat guard, but any other cats they could lay their hands on, and then remove themselves from the base before their skullduggery was discovered. For although able to incapacitate singular cats with a weapon of some kind, they would be unable to deal with the multiple cat assailants. Impressions suggested this was for the purposes of an attempted dark force reclaiming of the Earth's moon. Perhaps they were going to clone the cats from the material they had extracted from their skulls, or maybe they were able to animate and control the cats they had removed the material from in some way through the fluid they had claimed, and would be able to then infiltrate the cat's moon bases through these clones, or puppeteering the ones they had removed the fluid from. That I had witnessed this, undoubtedly I would now convey this to the cats of the base through my body form that was operating within it. 
that they would have a heads up of this attempted infiltration, but that is all that was revealed for now with this particular situation. Perhaps more updates will be forthcoming as the scene now would switch. I was in the company now of two other individuals, and we seemed to be operating in the capacity of magic wielders, that although we strive to stand in indifference and detachment from all creational ideas, including the dabbling where the psychic science abilities of the ethereal vehicle are concerned, on recent real side experiences, I have had many encounters with various black and white magicians in various situations, as though a constant theme of late, and although the usage of such abilities isn't necessary, as the real awareness is rather unlimited in its abilities in regards to its created body forms on the real side, certain situations have presented themselves where the utilising of such creational body form vehicle abilities, the psychic sciences etc. have been so. That nothing is negated in a creation, we just must always exercise indifference to all ideas of it, and not become absorbed into the fabricated unreality of anything as created via the body of vehicles, lest we become admired as the effects and resigned to the simulators. The other two individuals and myself were traversing an open countryside setting, and accompanying each of us also were small, ethereal, elemental-like body types. I shared on a real side experience previously that it was revealed how all new friends had been assigned these beings, and they would be operating in protective capacities also, on the real side and the physical level, though unseen on the physical by any, including the one they were affording protection to. Our destination seemed to be a tower that was positioned on a fairly steep hill we now were ascending, and it was this tower we were to reach seemingly. Presenting as resistance to our objective would be all a manner of dark force representing body types, all who would be imbued with a magical capability just as we were electing to currently utilise. The Dark Forces Obstruction's ability to harm or eliminate was dependent on agreements the two individuals and myself were maintaining that this could be so. As this wasn't the case, the efforts of our assailants on the hill were unsuccessful in preventing us from our goal, the tower that stood atop it. Only if I hold to the idea agreement that another can harm or kill me, can this be a potential effect the being in question who has my agreement can step into and my being harmed or eliminated according to the parameters of the agreement will then be the experience as a shared between myself and this other individual. And so, a mighty magical clash would ensue between the group and I and the dark force resistance. The assigned elemental type beings we each had also assisting us, and we would eventually break through the defence they represented. They would fade from the scene defeated, and we would reach the tower. Whatever business we had with the tower, whomever perhaps dwelled within that we were to engage with, that evidently the dark forces desired not to be so, wouldn't be revealed at this moment as the scene would fade. I would find myself now in a smaller spaceship, the design that of a flying saucer, and would be as though monitoring the Earth from a geostationary position. 
present with me was a female, human in appearance, though unfamiliar to my personal self. It was as though we were determining the extent by which the various human suppressing technologies, the electromagnetism, harp, etc., had either been diminished or neutralized. For this has been a theme of real side experiences of late, where myself and others have been operating in various capacities in regards to reducing or removing the human consciousness controlling and suppressing impact that the dark force technologies serve. And as I said, it was as though, from my position in this spaceship, so were I and my companion assessing the progress of our efforts, for we were scanning the entirety of the globe, and much by way of data and information was being revealed on the screen in conjunction with the Earth we were flying over and around. Interestingly, I wasn't only flying a spacecraft as I performed my sweeps of the Earth and collating data pertaining to its distorted technology bombardment, but I also was assuming an altogether different body type than my usual physical level human one. For indeed, based on the consciousness affected body form and its abilities, so I was not only able to recognise the data being revealed, all of which was in an alien language, but that through my eyes was everything different than it was for my female associate who was a human. For what we perceive, and the way we perceive it, how we decode the ideas into a simulation, is according to the mechanics of the body form senses we possess. And so it is that two different body forms can be regarding the same environment, but be experiencing and perceiving it completely differently, especially where you factor in altogether different species, as was the case here. For the interior of the ship that was my current environment was presenting a far richer array of colour and nuances of colour than any human would perceive it as, including my associate. I never took the moment to assess my body form. We tend not consider the physical level of body forms we operate, and this was the case here, as though an alternative form I was operating through, but one utilised consistently, that it isn't considered when I am animating it. It seemed the Earth's scans were satisfactory, that my operations and those of others in regards to the nullifying of the harmful electromagnetisms was a proceeding as a planned, and although the details of which, the specifics of the data, I was unable to determine through my personal self on waking, this was the overall of the situation. Interestingly, my ship had a certain additional technology that served as a recreational. It was a kind of imagination machine, in that whatever idea was imagined, or thought form or emotion, would be manifested as an experience within a simulation affording total immersion a capsule the individual was placed within, as though a kind of virtual reality a game, though one dictated directly through the created thoughts of the individual indulging in such. My human female associate seemed to delight in this technology, though she was requesting if I could update it to the latest model, for indeed the outdated version I had on my ship would convert all thoughts to simulation, but as is the case with most beings, whose thoughts are constantly in flux, so the simulation they experience would equally be so, and with the outdated model this would be the result. 
unless one were to be very focused in their thought creations and the maintaining of them, though rather the effort for most. The newer version would perform the same function, but at the user's discretion, so could they manually lock a certain idea thought they created and wanted to experience, and beyond that point, they may still be producing endless unregulated thought forms, but these would not feature in the game's experience, only the particular thought form they had locked in place. I would tell her that I would eventually acquire the latest model boasting this thought-locking technology, but that it was very expensive, and only after I had completed a number of other assignments would I be able to afford such. As though, as I went about my various beneficial life and awareness assignments and projects, specifically as this alien body type with my spacecraft, I also was being compensated that I could upgrade my ship and the technologies available to me, including those that were recreational. And my human associate, evidently through her intent with operating beneficially, so she was participating and accompanying me on my ship everywhere I went, while I was operating as such a body form, she was clearly delighted at this news, for the virtual reality-like technology was far in excess of that which humans have available to them, and quite the novelty for her, therefore. The experience would end there, as I completed my scan of the Earth, and I would set course to another destination with my human female associate, very likely another assignment I was embarking on through this particular alien body type I was operating as.